Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of our crypto show. I'm Rosemarie Miller, and I'll be giving you the latest crypto news and market updates. On to our markets, the crypto market cap is around $945 billion, which is up roughly 4% over the last day. Bitcoin is in the $21,000 range, which is up almost 3% on a daily scale, and Ethereum is around $1,200, up 6% for the day. On to our leaders and laggards. For our leaders, we have Aave up almost 11%, Internet Computer Token or ICP up about 9% for the day, and Uniswap up almost 7% on a daily scale. On to our laggards, we have Luna down almost 2% for the day, Decred down just about 1%, and Leo down not even 1%. A class action lawsuit has been filed against Solana Labs accusing the company and people within the ecosystem of making illegal profits and promoting this token soul as an unregistered security. The outcome of the lawsuit could have major implications for the future of the crypto industry, which has had to function for years under a cloud of uncertainty about whether its tokens should qualify as securities. If Sol is determined to be a security, it could open up many similar tokens available on prominent crypto exchanges, such as Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, and others to similar scrutiny. Ultimately, these platforms could be forced to delist Seoul in other major crypto tokens. In other news, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson steps down as a Conservative Party leader on Thursday after multiple scandals provoked widespread outrage and mass resignations among members of his own government. The departure of Boris Johnson as UK Prime Minister leaves a big question about the future of crypto policy in the country. The UK only recently declared its intention to set itself up as a crypto hub. For now, the resignation will likely disrupt the government's legislative agenda, including on issues like stable coins and if the next administration will be as pro-Web3 as Johnson's. Just yesterday, the Bank of England Deputy Governor John Cunliffe was promised a bill on stable coins by August. Johnson said he will stay on as a caretaker prime minister until a new conservative leader is elected. In other news, Bitstamp canceled its plans to enact an inactivity fee shortly after it announced that it would charge small inactive accounts 10 euros per month to hold assets at the exchange. The company said, after listening to our community's response, We've changed course. Customers quickly compared the move to that of traditional finance, criticizing the exchange. Others saw it as a desperate attempt for Bitstamp to protect itself in the crypto winter. Trading volume fell 70% after the initial announcement on July 1st, and though it recovered over the weekend, trading volume fell to $56 million after multiple outlets reported on the inactivity fee. So we've been discussing crypto lenders for a while now. Well, Celsius Network, the crypto lender that halted user withdrawals last month because of liquidity pressures, reclaimed $440 million of its collateral today after it fully paid off a loan on Maker, which is one of the largest DeFi platforms in the crypto universe. The troubled crypto lender paid down the remaining $41 million of its debt on the DeFi platform. Sell, the native token of Celsius platform, spiked 10% within minutes after the news, but it's still down 81% since the start of the year. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Forbes Crypto. Peace.